Hi guys and welcome to another Elementor video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignDetectives.com. Well today we're going to be demonstrating a fantastic animated text module. We're using Elementor Pro for this. So let's get started. I've got an Elementor page open here. And here's my module. Let's just delete this module. And we'll start from scratch. Okay, inside here's our Elementor grid with all of our little modules or widgets. Here's our ones that you get with the Pro here. And here's the animated headline. I'm going to left click and drag it to where I want it, which is up here. Now, as you can see, they've got all kind of different effects. This one's a highlight. And as you can see, we've got a circle element going on there. You can make it curly. You can underline it. Double it. Double underline. Underline zigzag. Diagonal. Strike through. Or cross out. And these things are really effective for getting eyeballs on your page. People are going to instantly see that when the page loads. Now that's just the highlighted versions. And obviously with highlight you can change the color and the style by going to the style tab. Let's give it a red color. And as you can see that's changed the color. And of course you can change the typography and everything else. But today I'm actually going to be using the rotating one where we can put in several different words. And you can put something in before the text, a sort of prefixed here. This page is, they've got here by default. And you can put something after that if you wish. And as you can see, the text is rotating there. And of course, like anything else, you can decorate it and change it how you wish. And there's plenty of different versions of animation to choose from. We're using typing at the moment. Let's use blind. That works fine. And as you can see, you've got clip, flip, swirl, blinds, drop in, wave, slide, slide down. They're all great effects there. Now we've chosen an effect. We can actually put more than one word in there if you want to. I could clip the van off of there and put it on the end of here. And we'll do the same for the rest of the words, keep them all similar sort of length. I find it looks better. You see? And that's a nice little effect. So let's decorate it and make, make it look a bit more like a headline. So we're happy with the way things are here. We've got it lined to the middle. It's an H3. You can make it bigger if you want to. With an H2. But to actually do that, let's go into our typography and style it the way we want. Now the text color, that's absolutely fine. I'm not going to change that. Typography wise, I'm going to make it a bit bigger slide it up until it's as big as you want it it'll catch up with itself there we go and weights fine I think I'm gonna make it uppercase so I'm gonna transform capital uppercase now that's looking a lot more like a headline there I really don't need to change the style I don't want to decorate it in particular and the line heights absolutely fine in fact we were a little bit too big there because it's broken that on one of it so let's just take it down a little bit there we go so I'm happy with that let's go back now just click on typography and change the actual animated text color there's the animated text there's the text color choose whichever color you will and there it is let's save our changes or update the page and preview.
And there we have it. That is a pretty eye-catching headline right there and a wonderful thing to have on your site. So easy to do. That took a, just a couple of minutes. And if you explore the different options there, you can get some fantastic effects. So again, we've been using Elementor Pro for this today. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please ring the bell, like, share, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.